All right, so we are pulling into the parking lot at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. It is packed. There's so many cars here. And uh, now I gotta find parking. Here we go. Okay, so I just walked into the Good Stuff Thrift Store and it is packed. Hopefully, uh, I can find something and uh, I might see some people I know. They have lots of music and it's pretty crowded. So let me grab a cart. All right, so there is music playing, but I just wanted to show you really quickly uh, some of the gift baskets that are being raffled off. Looks like there's quite a few. Um, looks like fun. I may put my name in and see if I can win something. Okay, so they did have music playing, like I said, so I decided to do a voiceover. Now, they had a DJ and they had um, speakers like really loud throughout the store. So I didn't want to risk getting a copyright strike. So I decided to do a voiceover for this part. Now, here you can see I'm just looking at some of the purses and the wallets and uh, I guess these little small, <laughs> small little cosmetic bags. They had quite a bit to choose from and uh, I was really impressed by how full and how stocked the shelves were. They really had a lot of stuff. Now this section is the little cubby cubicle shelves, I guess they're called. Uh, it's quite overwhelming when you first look at it. And it's really, um, it's like your eyes just really don't know where to go because there's so much stuff. Now I saw this cute little glass tomato. It was $5 and it looked pretty good. But for $5 for that one little tomato, I decided to leave it behind. Now here's Danny. She was, uh, looks like she was filming her documentary. And I didn't really have a chance to talk with her because, you know, she was really busy. She had a lot going on and I just didn't want to interrupt her flow. Now this is towards the back of the store and... There's a lot of cookware, dishes, and some of the stuff that was back here actually looked brand new. And some of the pricing also reflected that some of the items were brand new. There was a lot of stuff that was still in boxes, which I thought was really nice. But again, I thought the prices were a bit too high for reselling. Like these pans here, uh, I think they were brand new. But they were $40 each, and that was really just a bit too much for me, you know, just for thrift store prices. Oh, this is when I went inside um, Mikey and Sunny's booth at the store. Now, there was a lot of people in here, so <laughs> I didn't get a chance to really film too much, but they had some really cool stuff. Um, a lot of uh, sports stuff and a lot of movie stuff. All right, so I am in one of the booths. I'm not sure whose this one is or who it belongs to, but um, I'm finding that there's kind of like a, just a mixture of stuff. So nothing is really sorted um, in the booths, you know, by category. It's just kind of everything <laughs> everywhere um, I am a little like I said I'm a little disappointed because the music is blasting and I was really hoping to vlog more but um, it's okay I will just figure out a way to make it work and then I will continue to share and let you guys know uh, what's going on what's happening so let's keep looking around all right, so we are now in Tiffany's booth. This is Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas. And she has a lot of stuff uh, that I've actually seen her thrift. So it's kind of cool to see it all on display here. Um, I love the glass, so I'm taking a look at the cabinet here. So pretty. Oh, these are interesting. West Elm uh, Rabbit bookends, a set of two. 
Now this says $48.99, but it does have a pink mark on it, so I'm guessing it's on sale. Lots of, lots of cool stuff. It's kind of overwhelming because there's so much going on. <laughs> there's so many people here. I really like this faux onyx tissue box. Uh, the price is $45, but I really like that. Definitely has a vintage vibe. All right. Oh, this is a cool piece of glass. It kind of has that iridescence to it. This is $21.99. All right, uh, let's keep looking and see what else we can find. So I made it back out to the main floor and we're looking through the cubbies again. I kind of had to go back and forth <laughs> in between because there were so many people there. So when it was crowded, I would, you know, kind of go over and look at the booths. And then uh, when it got less crowded, I would go back to the little cubby shelves and see what I could find over there. Because you really got to take your time because there's so much stuff. Uh, you don't want to rush through anything and miss something. So I was looking on top of the shelves, on the sides, you know, everywhere. Now they also have a little baggy section on one of the side walls. And it looks like this was kind of like uh, crafty stuff, some sewing stuff, and even like some party, you know, party supplies and kind of random things like that. So it was fun to look. Okay, I've got a quick minute to record because the music is off right now. <laughs> so I can um, vlog a little bit and let you know what I see. So it's kind of hard to maneuver around because there's a lot of stuff, but there's so much stuff over here on the shelves. Now this is kind of like the upper section. I think this is like the stuff um, that Danny has curated and set aside to sell. So, um, it's kind of overwhelming because there's so much. So, oh, look at this. Okay, so this is 85. All right, and here is a nativity scene. Uh, the price on this is 180. Um, it does have a little bit of damage on this little sheep guy here. All right, so here's a few pieces here. Hi. I like this milk glass container. Uh, that is $32. Oops. So there's a lot of pretty stuff here. Now this section of the store reminds me very much of an antique mall so uh oh they're gonna blast the music again so I will <laughs> I will check back in or do a voiceover all right so I am continuing looking at the top section like I said I think this is Danny's section you know the stuff that she has set up and she really had a lot of different stuff a lot of beautiful items but again, the prices were not, you know, something that I as a reseller, um, you know, could work with. But she did have some beautiful pieces and it looks like it would be perfect for someone who was a collector or someone who really just wanted, you know, a certain piece to add to, you know, to replace or something like that. So here's this gorgeous uh, cabinet filled with glassware. Very, very pretty. And
and I slowed down the footage a little bit here because I didn't want to make <laughs> make you dizzy but I also wanted to show you all the different pieces she had she had a lot of uh, fish pieces and ocean themed artwork and I really liked this fish platter I thought it had a very um, vintage look to it but again uh, the price just wasn't something that I could <laughs> I could do uh, as a reseller but it would be good like if I was buying it for a gift or something like that so if you ever do come to the good stuff thrift store like I said take your time and don't rush because there's so much to see and it's overwhelming at first but if you take your time, I think it will be a very enjoyable experience. Now, I really liked this bowl. It had that iridescent vibe and I'm really into that. For some reason, I just really like it and I'm always drawn to those pieces. But again, I wanna say that was roughly about $25 and uh, that just wasn't gonna work for me as a reseller. And that gorgeous vase on, on top was really, really pretty, but it was very, very heavy. I really liked this starfish kind of art glass or slag glass piece. And I like how uh, she kind of put these colors together where you kind of have like the blues and the purples all together. And I really liked the pattern on that glass. Now, I don't know if you saw the little blow mold Christmas tree there to the left, but you'll see later on in the video that I do end up putting that in my cart. I was really excited to find it and I thought the price was perfect. There it is. So I'm just looking at some more pieces that Danny has in her section. Uh, again, I really liked that iridescent vase. I mean, those colors were just so stunning. They were so pretty. And I really wish that, you know, I had the space in my home and that it worked with my decor. But I definitely would have picked those up for resale if, you know, if the price was right. Now, I think everyone who saw this thought it that this little uh, glass was a glassy baby, but it was a Mikasa votive candle holder. And I guess that is kind of their version of the glassy baby votive, you know, glasses. I think I went through these cubbies probably like, I want to say five or six times. And there is the blow mold. You can see I put it in my cart. I want to say it's about maybe three feet tall. <laughs> it was pretty big and it was only $12. Now I have sold some blow molds and I did really, really well with them. So I was excited to find this. Now it is battery operated and there was a lady in the store who actually had batteries and she gave them to me and let me try them out in the Christmas tree. So I did and it didn't work, but I still bought the tree anyway. Now I made my way up to the front uh, where the jewelry is. There wasn't a whole lot, but I wanted to see what they did have because I'm always, <laughs> always looking for jewelry, but I didn't really see too much. So, um, but I always want to, you know, make sure I check just to see. Now they did have a lot of pieces, but I didn't really see anything uh, that looked too antique or too vintage, at least not to me. They also have a glass case towards the front that seems to have uh, more, you know, small collectible pieces. It's kind of random. There's not really any type of uh, specific thing. I think it's just kind of whatever uh, small pieces that they put up front. Do you 
table over here, on the counter over there. All of those funds are going to the nonprofits who provided those baskets. So we're hoping to, to rally up some more bids. There's some absolutely amazing things in those baskets. Um, and uh, we're going to start some uh, karaoke for a discount action. So anybody's brave, you will get a discount coupon for coming up and singing karaoke. Oh my God. I'm just saying. Carrie! Coupon! <laughs> A burrito. Frost chicken for life. Made a rainbow for the pot. The sky began to thunder. When began to moan, I heard a voice above me saying, "Girl, what? Better get back home." Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, the words are right here. <laughs> hey, yeah. The traffic. Okay, so here's a look at what I got at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. Woo! <laughs> I got 18 pairs of Disney LuLaRoe leggings. They were a dollar each, and I have had really good luck selling LuLaRoe leggings either in a lot or I sometimes sell them individually depending on what the patterns are. So I only picked these up because they're Disney, and like I said, I've had really good luck selling them. Uh, the other thing I got was this Christmas tree blow mold. <laughs> I think I showed that earlier. But um, it is battery operated and I did try it with these batteries. There was a lady in the store who gave me these. I'm not sure if her batteries were good. She said they may or may not be. But um, even if, you know, the battery part doesn't work, I could screw this off and I could put a bulb underneath. Um, but this was only $12, I think. And then the other thing I got was this plate. Now I'm pretty positive that this is a Peggy Carr plate and I have done really well selling these uh, Peggy Carr fused glass plates. This one is the Holly pattern or design. So um, it says $19.99 but I think it was on sale because when I uh, went to check out for this and this I think it was like under $20. I can't remember. But anyways, so that's just a quick uh, trunk haul of what I picked up. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> and I will see you soon in the next video.